Hi, I'm Peter Newbery here at the H.R. McMillan Space Center. When you hear about a ship being launched into space, you get the impression that the launch is the really hard part, and once it's up in space, well then you can sit back and relax. But that's not the case. The launch team goes home, but they hand over the controls to the orbit insertion team. Now getting a ship into orbit around another planet, that is a really tough problem. Here's why it's so hard. You have to imagine shooting at this planet across the solar system, your little ship, and it has to travel through a little window, not too close to the planet, not too far from the planet, you have to send your spaceship millions of kilometers across the solar system and right through this window so it'll go into orbit around the planet. And it has to be going at the right speed too. You can't go too fast, you can't go too slow, just exactly the right orbital dynamics so that the planet can capture your spaceship. To practice orbital insertion, in 1968, NASA sent the Apollo 8 astronauts on a trip around the moon. They never intended to land on the surface of the moon. The whole mission was just to get into orbit around the moon, just to try it out. Now that mission sent back some beautiful pictures of Earth from space, and the astronauts even sent us a Christmas message. And from the crew of Apollo 8, we close with good night, good luck, a Merry Christmas, and God bless all of you, all of you on the good Earth. One small mistake can lead to disaster. In 1999, the Mars Climate Orbiter was headed towards Mars. One group of engineers was measuring altitudes in miles, and the other group of engineers was measuring heights in kilometers. And the Mars Climate Orbiter went in at an altitude of 60 kilometers instead of 60 miles and burned up in the atmosphere. You can almost imagine the conversation that happened. Yeah. Oh, hey, Fred, it's Barney. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry about that Climate Orbiter. Yeah, we sent it in at 60 kilometers, eh? What? 60 miles? Oh, sh So why am I telling you all this? Well, because mankind or, or humankind or whatever kind, we did it twice in the last month. On March the 11th, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter went into orbit around the planet Mars, and already it's sending back some incredibly high resolution pictures of the red planet's surface. And on April the 11th, the Venus Express went into orbit around Venus, and already it's taking pictures of the atmosphere of Venus and even the surface. When you see Mars in the evening sky or Venus in the morning sky, remember there's a little spaceship in orbit around that distant planet sending us back information about our solar system. I'm Peter Newbury here at the H.R. McMillan Space Center reminding you that space really is closer than you think.